Hey guys, Artosis here, and I'm finally going to make that video on hotkeys that I have been promising for oh so long. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into it. In StarCraft 2, you can change your hotkeys. They have it right within the game, and you can switch around to anything you want on your keyboard. And this is something really important that I don't think enough people put a lot of time and consideration into. And in fact, I wasn't thinking about it all that much until Liquid Noni was saying something on State of the Game about, you know, the way that he was thinking about hotkeys, and then suddenly I was like, oh my god, he's completely right, you have to change your hotkeys uh, to be optimal. And uh, so, there's all sorts of keys you should pop out, there's different hotkey ways to do it, you know, there's different options there, you could even go like a grid style or something like that, and in fact, the hotkeys in StarCraft 2 are pretty darn good. Uh, I mean, they moved a bunch of the buttons around so that keys weren't too far away, they're all kind of clustered in an area. But still, there's improvements that can be made. Each race can definitely have its own hotkeys and all that stuff. Uh, but I really feel that they should be switched. There are some good things about not switching your hotkeys, though. For instance, Heart of the Swarm is going to come out. And for those of us who have switched hotkeys, we're probably going to have to switch them around again because we might be overlapping keys with new units, new abilities, things like that. Whereas someone that just uses the straight up uh, what the game started with hotkeys is not going to have to do that because Blizzard's not going to really mess with those hotkeys. They're just going to put them into different places. Uh, and another thing that's actually good is that the original StarCraft 2 hotkeys kind of have uh, the same feel as StarCraft 1 hotkeys. So if you were a StarCraft 1 player and you switched over, then you're already going to feel pretty comfortable. The only things that they really moved were the uh, positional hotkeys, and they added a few, like for Protoss Warp Gate and stuff like that. So uh, that's something to keep in mind if you're considering switching your hotkeys or not. But if you do switch them, if you do learn them, which will take some time and you will lose extra games because you're not used to it, then it is going to make you quicker and be more efficient in a lot of ways. So let's go ahead and start looking at the hotkeys. I have my keyboard here, uh, and I've been playing with this setup for quite a while now. So I'm going to go ahead and just start explaining that. All right, so as you can see, here is my keyboard, and uh, this is a mechanical uh, keyboard with brown cherry switches. It is a Tessero M7 for anyone wondering about that. I don't even know if that exists outside of Korea. It's just like a, a pretty high-end mechanical that uh, I actually got for my birthday from Hwani a couple years ago. So, uh, as you see, I have a bunch of keys popped out. And let me go over those things first. Obviously, the Windows key. You do not want the Windows key. There's no reason for it. And in fact, uh, when you're moving quickly around the keyboard, even if you disable Windows key, it's stupid to have there because it can get in your way. I love to have keys missing next to important keys if the keys don't do anything for me. Let's look at some other things. For instance, Patrol down here, the P button. Uh, definitely a button that I use a lot in this game, uh, as well as StarCraft 1. I'm very used to patrol being over here, but I remove this key right next to it so that I never miss it because your hand is centered over the left side of the keyboard. So to the further over you move and the more quickly you want to do it, and with the patrol button, of course, you're going to do that, more likely you're going to miss. So having a key missing there, I can actually do a, a pretty good job of always, always, always hitting it. Uh, also, uh, notice I removed 9 and 0 from over here because I moved some of my hotkeys over because this is like an annoying area as well. This is somewhere where you can actually end up missing. And so I just pop them out. Eight is the furthest a hotkey goes for me over here. And actually up here, you can see a bunch of keys missing as well. And this was actually just because I played StarCraft II on regular hotkeys with Zerg for a long time. Uh, I was, it made me unused to the way that the F keys functioned uh, for positional hotkeying. And in StarCraft 1, positional hotkeys were F2, F3, F4. At that point, I was really used to it. And then I spread them out so that I would not miss moving my hand up into this kind of unnatural area, hitting the positional hotkeys. And in fact, I've been meaning to move all four positional keys over here because I'm used to moving my hand up there at this point. But I wanted to leave it like this to show you guys an easy way to train yourself. Uh, for instance, these are, for those of you who don't understand, a positional hotkey, it's a camera hotkey on the map. It's not over a building, it's over an area. So, for instance, I put this one, F1, over my main base. This would be my natural, my third base, and my fourth base. And that way I can move my probes really quickly and efficiently. I can jump around for chrono boosts and stuff like that. I can deal with drops because they are oftentimes centered on mineral lines. And uh, by, like, notice you'll have your hand down here, whatever way that you have it, right? And if you're trying to jump up, 
it's really easy to hit them when they're like this. This one gets a little bit harder, but the fourth base is used less than the first, second, and third. So uh, it's it's a good way to learn to use those positional hotkeys, but eventually you should probably just move them over here. This is getting kind of far out there, and it's not needed once you once you train your brain to go up there. So let's go over, I want to show exactly how I hold my hand when I play Protoss. I put my pinky there on control. Control is really important. My ring finger goes on A for attack, and then this is for S, and then that's for E. So those, that's how my, and my thumb is on spacebar. So that's how uh, I set it up just for the way I hold my hand most of the time. You know, E is like probe and pile on stuff. In fact, I'll probably get some things wrong because <laughs> it's hard to think outside of the game. It's just kind of automatic at this point. Now, some of the keys that I switched around. This one I stole directly from Liquid Noni. He's really smart about this. Uh, tab I have as a positional hotkey. And I put that where I'm going to warp in units. Because you generally know where you're warping in units unless you're responding to a draw. So I have the, the tab key over that. Like, let's say I have a forward pylon. I'm doing a rush. Uh, you know, I'm doing any sort of attack. I put tab over that. Now, uh, Q is what I put all my gateways on. Uh, I don't like to use the warp gate key. It's an uncomfortable key for me because whenever you press it, it only shows uh, your warp gates that are ready and active. So uh, I like to have all my warp gates on one key. The only time that that's a little bit messy is when warp ga gates are becoming warp gates, but that's not that many times during the game. Whereas other times I'll be like wondering, and I don't want to just keep spamming the warp gate key not knowing how long I have on cooldown. So by hitting that, I can just glance down and see all the warp gates and see what their cooldown is. So that's something that I really like. So that's always, always, always uh, all my warp gates. Now W is something I use for uh, harassment units. I Mostly I use it for warp prisms. Uh, I just, I hockey my warp prism on there and that's something I can always grab. In StarCraft 1, you know, it was hard. It was like, well, where do you really put your dropships? It was probably best down here, but that was a little bit hard to do. I personally put them up here on two. That was normally my dropship key for whatever reason. But I like having Warp Prism on that because, you know, you use Warp Prisms a lot as Protoss nowadays. And, you know, you can be moving your army around and suddenly be like, bam, Warp Prism, go. And it's pretty useful. So uh, those are, uh, these are the two hotkeys that I took from over here. That's like nine and zero. I moved them over to Q and W. Now, and of course, as I said, a, another positional key here, because you get a lot of positional keys in this game, but I only use six of them. As I said, F1, F3, F5, F7, tab button, and the other one is spacebar. When I first started playing Protoss uh, on the Korean server, I found out very quickly that you never put upgraded upgrading buildings on any edge of your base, because Terran will kill it off all the time. Like, you don't put your forges in the middle, I mean, uh, on the edge, you don't put your toilet on the edge. You can if you're like trying to hide something, but overall it's a bad idea. So uh, I started clumping them all in the center of my base, unless again I'm hiding something. And you know, those buildings like the Twilight Council, the Robotics Bay, the Forges, by having them in the center, you're not going to lose them, which is like such a game ending thing. And it's easier to chrono boost them. For instance, if you have two forges, you're going to be chrono boosting them almost nonstop. That's like what your chrono boost is for. So I use spacebar as a positional hotkey over them. So I can do things like I keep my nexuses up on six, seven, and eight normally, uh, and sometimes just seven, eight matters how many hotkeys I'm using. But I'll do something like, all right, so here I am playing the game. I'm like, oh, it's time to chrono boost. Go up, hit one of these buttons, C space. And then I have Chrono Boost locked and loaded, and I'm over all the buildings, and then I can just be like CCCCC uh, and just Chrono Boost everything. So that I found that to be really useful and really helps me stay on top of my Chrono Boost. And in fact, uh, just because I have a hockey dedicated to that, I never make mistakes with where I'm putting my forges, my Twilight Council, etc. They're always somewhere central in my base, the last place a drop can really get to. Like if a drop is that far in my main, then I'm probably going to lose. So, uh, another thing that I changed on my hotkeys was Guardian Shield. Because, look, H over here, this is already kind of far away from most of the keys. Most of the keys you use are right in here. So, when you start going over for H, hold position, which you use a lot, especially against Zerg. You're going to want to hold position a ton against, you know, Zerglings running in and out and whatnot. Uh, there have been games, and I'm sure a lot of Protoss players out there have had those, where... You want to hold position, but you accidentally guardian shield. And a lot of times you hit hold position a lot. It's just like a, 
you're like, oh crap, and you're like hitting hold position a ton to make sure that they're holding position for whatever reason. And if you spam out a bunch of guardian shields, you're just going to lose the game. And that's the first time that happened to me, I'm like, bam, got to change that hotkey. That is something that I cannot afford to miss ever. And a key that's really not used in StarCraft II, X for Protoss. So I went ahead, put Guardian Shield down on X, and now it's just no problem. G, I, you know, I don't use that for that anymore. That does just a couple upgrades in the game and typing out GG when I lose. Uh, so, you know, there's the Force Field, Guardian Shield no more, now it's down there. Very easy to hit. This is a key that you're not really going to miss very much. Uh, you know, it's like Zealot, Guardian Shield, Chrono Boost. That's, that's some pretty easy stuff. Uh, and then the whole position's over there. So, uh, you know, that pretty much goes over my set of hotkeys. And this is not by any means like a perfect set of hotkeys. There's definitely other ways that I could improve upon this. Uh, you know, I'm a player that's a little bit stubborn myself. But, uh, you know, I just changed a bunch of them and decided, okay, I'm going to try this out. And this has been working out great for me. I think that uh, especially this one that I stole from Liquid Tyler, the uh, tab for positional hotkey Q for uh, warp gates. Uh, I don't know if he still uses this, and in fact, he may not have used these for exactly that. I think that's exactly what he used for these two. And W4 harassment units. This set of keys up there, I love it. It works out so well for Protoss. Uh, it's so comfortable to warp in units. You're never going to mess that up that way. It's just like tab Q, do 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 and you're all set. So that's my favorite part of my hockey setup. That's something I suggest Protoss is try. It doesn't necessarily have to be there. But uh, everyone should really look into switching their hotkeys up and doing different things with them, like things that you just want to do quicker or you're having a problem with. Uh, there's all sorts of little ways that you can do that, and there's really no reason not to. I, I mean, as I mentioned before, there's a few things that it can help with, like when Heart of the Storm comes out, when Legacy of the Void comes out. But it doesn't really take that long. It only took me like a week to get completely used to these. And yeah, it was a painful week. But guess what? You're always going to be losing games anyways. It doesn't matter. You know, uh, more loss is more skill, as White Raw would say. All right, guys. So that is my hockey setup. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's more of a plea to people to start trying out new hotkeys and, you know, maybe share your experiences. Like, I would not have come up with uh, the tab Q type of thing. That's like a beautiful combo of hotkeys right next to each other. Your fingers are always right near there. But I got that because I heard Liquid Noni was doing that. So uh, I feel like the more that people try out things like this and find cool little combinations, we might actually end up figuring out, hey, this is probably how your hotkeys should be. So it's, it's kind of an interesting subject that's not talked about a lot. You know, you talk about a lot of strategy, you know, even things like how do you deal with pressure and traveling and stuff. But a lot of pro gamers, I think, don't use the best hotkeys they really should. And I'm sure that, of course, if the pro gamers aren't doing it, a lot of the lower league players aren't. So, uh, you know, give it some thought. And uh, maybe if you come up with something really cool, just share it with people. And maybe, you know, you'll find a great way to hotkey everything. So, guys, this has been Hotkeys with Artosis. Thank you so much for watching.